Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. All year round, you can see this forecast for the Maine High Peaks region at our website, WSKITV.com, so you can know before you go. Our weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate, Sugarloaf's Agency. Visit them in the village. And for Sunday, things will be cooling off, 19 to 23 up top, 32 to 36 at the base. Hopefully we'll get the snow guns going as soon as they possibly can. Partly sunny skies, but the bad news is it does look like wind is going to be a factor. And again on Monday, Monday 27 to 31 up high, 36 to 40 down below. So that's not really good for snowmaking. Partly sunny skies and another windy day. So let's cross our fingers and hope we can get all of this not so nice weather out of the way before Christmas time. Partly sunny on Tuesday, 35 at the base, 20 up top. So hopefully that'll be a good day for making snow, at least up high on the mountain. Wednesday, 33 at the base and 20 up top, partly sunny skies. And then Thursday, mostly cloudy and warming up again, 49 at the base and 33 up top. So this weather, we are so over it, but snowmakers, groomers, everybody's going to chip in and do their best to do what we can with what we've got. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Sunday. We have 23 trails and trail sections open for skiing and riding, but it will totally depend on what happens first thing in the morning when the groomers come in and also with the wind. Double Runner Skidway and Sawduster are scheduled to start at 8.30. We'll have to see about the Super Quad and Skyline. They will make snow as soon as the temperatures drop, and they'll also rebuild the terrain park up off the tote road. But for the time being, we'll have to just tune in to our live show in the morning to see how much headway they've made after the groomers come in early in the morning when things start to freeze up again. Fat bike trails stay off them when it's above freezing, but as soon as it freezes up, good to go again. And if you want to do some early Christmas shopping for the skinny skier on your Christmas list, head on down to the Outdoor Center. The shop is open down there this weekend. All kinds of activities at the AGC to keep you busy. They're open on Sunday until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And there's also fun to be found at the Sports and Fitness Center for all ages. It's also a really great place to grab a quick bite, quick, easy, and delicious. And down in the valley, the Sugar Bowl is available with eight bowling lanes and virtual golf. So if you want to burn off some energy, give them a call and reserve your bowling lane for Sunday. Holiday Gift Bazaar continues on Sunday in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Another opportunity to do some Christmas shopping. And next weekend will be the Holiday Tree Lighting Festival. If you want to find out what's going on on the mountain, our live show, first thing, Sunday morning, tune in, 7.30. Kip will be out there, and he will give you the lowdown on what to expect throughout the day. You won't find that kind of information anywhere else. Keep it tuned to WSKI TV 17, or watch our live show streaming at WSKI TV.com.